everybody, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Um, so, yeah, hi everybody, I'm back, we're doing it, we're doing the Drew. Um, today we are starting the final scene, so I don't know if you know, that's very exciting news actually. Um, that's too low, sorry, camera, good, sick. Um, so anyway, starting the final scene, which is of the original five, the one I have played the most recently. However, when I say recently, I mean like within the last five years. Um, however, I don't, it might've even been longer than that. Honestly, time is a strange concept where it was like, it feels like it wasn't that long ago, but it probably was a while ago, honestly. So anyway, I am probably going to get stuck like I do in all of these games, which is fine. Um, it's totally fine. Just uh, need to be prepared for that. But without much further ado, let me just go ahead and adjust my chair. Oh, also, just a little um, PSA. Um, don't forget to put on sunscreen. I may have very badly burned myself recently on my back. And it's quite unfortunate. So I just want to remind everybody of fair skin to not forget to put on sunscreen. Or if you are just prone to getting sunburned in general, skin cancer is real. UV rays are real. <laughs> I know I'm being dramatic, but like, I just, I should have learned my lesson by now. By, but here we are. So at least it's not my face. My face looks amazing. So okay anyway i'm gonna just get started before things get weird uh, i'm gonna open the game now we're here and we're here for it okay so get rid of the green box new game let's do it Oh, no introduction this time, Nancy? Surprising. All right. I'm a senior detective. Day one. Oh yeah, there's days in this one. So day one. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ruh row. Mayday, mayday. Where's that phone? Where is the phone? There it is. And so it begins.
So I've been informed that we can't hear the game audio. That's unfortunate. Um, just give me one moment while I attempt to fix this. Please hold while I transfer your call. I beg your pardon? Take a breath and pinch yourself because it's really happening. Brady Armstrong in the flesh. <clears throat> Star of Vanishing Destiny? Go ahead, faint. I'll catch you. Oh my god. So can we hear that now? Are we all good? Alright. Sorry about that, guys. So, I mean... Good thing there's captions, but all the you missed is, we're going to go investigate. Oh my God. New theater. New th who dis? Like, what's up? And then all of a sudden it's just like, just kidding. Um, Maya's been kidnapped. So she screamed from the other side of the door. I don't know if that was captioned or not, but that's all we missed. Sorry. Um, it's like I said, giving myself the benefit of the doubt, game audio, but this is Sir Brady Armstrong, the hunk, the glorious hunk of hunkiness, I guess, the actor. And he's telling me to faint for him. So we don't, we don't, we don't do that because we're Nancy Drew. Yeah, yeah. I came with my friend Maya to see the premiere tonight. I'm Nancy. Maya was just here a minute ago. Did you see her? Remind me not to appoint you president of my fan club. So what was your friend doing in my dressing room? Um. Weren't you expecting her? I thought she emailed you to set up an interview for her article. All my email goes through Simone. She reads it, she writes back. Control issues, you know? Off the record? Any message that says love Brady is just a big electronic smooch from her. <laughs> we love 
electronic smooches. Mwah. Um, Simone, is that your agent? Simone Mueller, CEO of my life. Uh, I mean, my agent. Focus on being wholesomely smoldering, she says, and leave the rest to me. So I do. She's been setting up Premier HQ in the women's dressing room. Haven't you heard her snarling at people on the phone? So, you didn't hear a girl screaming a few minutes ago? Maybe you better tell me what's going on here. Oh, so now you care. Now that you're, you know... Actually, I don't... Whatever. Sorry, checking my very important text messages. I heard Maya scream. When I got here, she was gone, vanished. And then I got a creepy phone call from the kidnapper. But where could they have taken her? What did they say? It's something to do with the demolition of the theater. The voice said, if they knock the theater down, the girl goes with it. Those stinking radicals. <laughs> what radicals? What the hell? Please, I don't have time for small talk. Sure thing. How can I help? The caretaker was looking for you. See if you can help him. Roger. Roger that. Okay, cool. Now that he's gone and I'm stuck no longer stuck in that freaking conversation um there's an echo and we love echoes echoes are totally not you know they add to ambiance but they also can be a little bit distracting so let me see if i can resolve this echo but also nice immediately found the um entrance to the secret passageway by accident honestly um echo's not bad when it's just the music Kind of adds to it the funk of it. Amazing. Um, so before we stress about that, though, let me go ahead and see if I can um, fix this echoing issue because I have computer speakers that are completely turned off right now. So you're not hearing that. I'm wondering if you're hearing it through the sheer willpower of god itself <laughs> just give me one moment everybody um appreciate your patience
I dropped my phone. Just give me one moment. <laughs> um, luckily, my microphone was muted, so you couldn't hear the thud of it hitting the ground. But um, hopefully, there won't be an echo anymore. I just, um, you know, it is what it is. There's a lot of things happening. But let's explore and actually get into this now. So, <sighs> game. Final scene, Brady Armstrong, the hunk, the glorious hunk. We found the shortcut to whatever, but before we go in there, um, the secret passageway or whatever, um, let's just check out all of this stuff. So I could call, so this is the, can I actually even call people from this? Or it's literally just like receiving, that's weird. Um, okay, but it's an internal line, which means somebody was at one of the phones threatening me. It's locked. It's locked. All right, so that's how you get into the secret passageway. A bunch of boxes. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Ooh, nice. Old style magic wands. We love that, we love that. Okay. Um... Okay, so far the ambiance music in this game is winning out of all the games so far. Like, this is, like, legit, like, beat. Okay. Now we're in this, and there's no way going back. We can go back. That's good. That's good. We're not gonna go back. We're gonna go forward. Onward. The snake was here. Don't know who the snake was, but he was here. All we can do is go forward. Alrighty, so... I may have to cut this short, Hal. Someone just climbed out of my wardrobe. Can't you see I'm on the phone here? <laughs> so, I mean, I'm still hearing an echo, but I don't know. Uh, maybe... Okay, my friend's been kidnapped! My friend's been kidnapped! Listen, sweetheart, I have a premiere tonight and no stylist for my star. So don't tell me about problems. Um, there's always a problem. But especially if, like if you're being the problem, which it seems like you're being a big problem right now. But this is an emergency. I said scram. Okay. Well, I literally just came out of your wardrobe, and you have no questions, none, none whatsoever. Interesting. Plunger in the sink. Um. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. Nothing, nada. Nope, 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 nope. I'm just gonna go through all your- I mean, that's the wardrobe I just came out of, so it's probably fine, I don't know. But if, like, it seemed like this was the only way through the secret passageway, so if she's been here this entire time, I mean, you would think she would've known where Maya came from, in my personal opinion. It's fine. Also, why does there need to be a shortcut between, like, the women's and the men's dressing rooms? Okay. Um... Ah! Uh, uh. That's a nope. Okay, so that's one of the phones I could have called from. Ah! Ah! I forgot this one has like a lot of places to go to, but just like not necessarily obvious and it's very confusing and labyrinthy. <laughs> I'm already like, I don't know where I am. Um, which is fine. I'm not supposed to know where I am. All actors, please wear sh shoes. Wait, please wear. I mean, over here it looks like shoes, right? Like I would have swore it said shoes. Oh, come on. Ah, squeak. Oh, 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 okay. Um, another door. Yeah, it's the shoes over here, but I can't tell if that's everywhere or just here. Um, okay. Can okay, I go forward? <laughs> I, I went through a music trigger. We love pulling ropes.
This probably isn't a bad idea. What just clunked? Ah. Ah! So I'm doing something I'm actually supposed to do. That's good. Okay, so now the box is in the air. And I can lift this up. Look at me go! More secret passages! So rusty and dank looking. Ah! Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. Obviously, I don't know. Oh. Interesting. This one doesn't even have a clover on it. Crown, maybe? Do they all have crown? No, I mean. Spade. Diamond. Spade. I think it's spade. Look at me go! I'm a genius, everybody! Oh my god, please don't tell me this is a slide puzzle. Okay, it's not a slide puzzle. That's good. Okay. Um. Can I rotate the pieces, though? Can't. Oh, I can't. Ooh, okay. So, we oh. We're gonna start working on this, then. I don't know what a GOQ is. I don't know what that means. So we'll keep moving forward. Okay, right, so it looks like there's like a stained glass like image behind her face. So if I just like oh that looks like it's right too. Okay, well, it's not a slide puzzle, which is good, because apparently slide puzzles are my Achilles heel. But this one looks really pretty, so... Oh, look at me go. Oh, that's what you mean. Alright, don't mind me. This is really pretty looking. I don't know... I mean, let's do this... No, it's not right. Maybe this one is... Uh... Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. I need to find this corner, but I can't immediately see it. Maybe it's this one. Yas! Yas. Um. It's like, I know this is her hair, and her hair is quite everywhere literally um um maybe this one's up here hold up spin it no i feel like that one's more like the bottom or or is it just this piece right here? Simply, it is simply that's just that piece. Okay. Um. Oh, those look, they go together. Those definitely go together. Whether they go together there though is a mystery. Also, where's her face? Is it just me or did she like not have a face? Also, why do they look like they go together? But then there's like that weird wobble right here. Like it's not like a perfect line. Hmm. <laughs> nope. I do not know. Let's just start working on her hair. Um. Maybe this one goes here? Yep. Alrighty. Nope. Um. Hmm. 
it's gotta be right here, right? Yeah, okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. He's gotta be like the top bits, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, progress, progress. Or as the British say, progress, sideways. How's it sideways? What is sideways? Is my it, if the puzzle's completely sideways, that will be interesting. Why does that look like that goes there? But it doesn't at the same time. I don't know. Um, 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 um. Girl, your hair is everywhere. I hate to tell you this, but your hair is a little bit in the way. Um, oh, okay. Oh, that's not right. Okay, so. That's there. Is this her face? That is her face. Oh, it just didn't look like a face at all. By any stretch of the imagination. But it was her face, and this is her neck. Okay. Now it's starting to come together. <laughs> I was like so confused. Um Look at that. Look at that. It's all coming together. That piece suddenly doesn't look like it goes there, and it's like... Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like, this doesn't look right suddenly. Which is... Let me just get the hair. Once I get the hair, I can figure that out. So, like... Our hair does move forward here too a little bit, right? So if it does, then it might be one of these pieces. That's there. Simply. And then this one might be... Okay, okay, that makes sense. So yeah, this is like the... This is this border then. Yeah. There we go. Thought that looked off. 
Look at me go. It looks like the gears are missing. Dang. The Something's missing here. Hopefully I can not have to do that again, right? I don't do that. Cool. Okay. Well, we did that. Oh, I have to do this again though, right? Oh, I don't. Look, it learned that doing puzzles over and over again gets a little repetitive. <laughs> okay, so if... Gentlemen, step right up! That's not creepy. Ah um, okay. Find the Ace of Spades. Keep your eye on the card. Woo! Congratulations! You beat the magician! Don't forget to collect your winnings! Ha <laughs> ha! Your audience will be dazzled. Flash paper. Every magician keeps some th some ha some handy directions. Slide the flash sugar ring through the middle finger. Figure A. Use the flint wheel or finger flasher to create the spark. Figure B. The then throw the flash paper and watch it as it ignites. Your audience will be dazzled by the bright light and the puff of smoke. Great for theater, special effects, disappearing acts, and any. Yeah, anytime you need to throw someone off your trail. Caution, flash paper is a pyrotechnic device and should not be used by children without adult supervision. Your audience will be your audience will be dazzled. I'm so dazzled. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. That's not creepy. That's not creepy at all, actually. It's only immensely creepy. This magician needs some first aid. That's one way to put it. Um, oh. I could just... All the music, all the drama, all the laughs. Witness the wondrous spectacular that has all of New York buzz. Not buzzing, it's a buzz. It is a buzzing. Okay. Woo. So this looks like I can't really go. Oh, I can go over here. Oh, I'm just kidding. This is where I already was. Anything else over here? What's under the stairs? Okay. Oh, I'm under the ground. I forgot. I completely forgot where I was. I'm underground right now. Okay, so that's a woman's dressing room. I have that box in the air. This is the men's dressing room. Okay, so is Brady Armstrong back? No. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm being what the French like to call le uh, lethero. I'm being lethero right now. <laughs> oh my god. It's lost. Only the key. Okay, now we will explore. I don't want to go. Wait, let me maybe I guess I can. I think this is just a box, right? Yeah, this is just like a, a viewing box. You can't really spin or anything in this one, though. Disappointing. Those are creepy statues with red glowing eyes. It's like you just walk around this entire thing. Now, I have very oddly specific memory of finding a piece of gum under one of these seats and apparently needing it for something later. That's just something I do remember. I don't know 
where it is. I don't remember why I need it. I just know that I can and will find a piece of gum on one of these seats. It might be on a seat upstairs, honestly. Oh! Mmm, popcorn. <laughs> Nancy, do you want some popcorn? Shh! <laughs> I'm pretty sure it winds up on this magic wand, which again, is like oddly specific memory that I have, but I don't remember why I need that to be the way it is. I just know that it is something that I will be needing at some point. So I'm just trying to see if I can find that. Oh, there it is. There it is. Give me it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and immediately she puts it on the magic wand because that's what you do with gum, right? Like 100% is what you do with gum. It's one of those things where it's like, huh? Like, that's definitely one of those things that, like, once upon a time I was stuck on, and I was like, what? Where do I get this from? And it's like, that? JJ Thompson. Why can I zoom on, in on it? Like, that extra zoom is, I don't know, eerie. Okay. Oh! note in the upper left corner to the dance dancers in the okay ah interesting oh god <laughs> and don't get caught by the other notes okay um Do this. Rest right now. Okay. Woo. How do I lose you? God, this is ah! <laughs> Oh my god, it's like they're like Attacking me. <laughs> this is this is definitely not right. Oh god. Just just, just reset before I get the symbol in the face again. Okay, so I need to get somehow up there. I haven't gone yeah, because it just gives them a head start that I don't want them to have. Um, how the frick do I lose these guys? Oh, yeah, no, that's not the how. except I have these heat-seeking notes that are going to destroy me. Um, yeah, it's like, I can't... They don't just mimic my Okay. How, oh, how, oh, how, oh, 
Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Hell yeah, I did it, guys. And it gave me one of the gears. No? Dang. Alrighty, well, I did it. I've been doing, you know, Nancy's not concerned about her friend being missing. No, 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 no. She's got puzzles to do. Puzzles that give her weird prizes. Oh, an actual phone, probably. Ooh! The Royal Palladium. Can I not see these numbers when I'm looking at the phone? I can't? Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I can just write them down. Because I have a lot of phone calls to make, which hopefully won't echo. Fingers crossed. Um, okay. So, let's see. Royal Palladium. Three, one, four, five, five, five. Because every number's middle numbers are five, five, five. Like literally, I had a phone number that I had to call for work, and it's, it's middle three numbers were five, 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 and I was so happy. Like I was just like, oh my god, Nancy Drew. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like my own like phone number so much because it's very similar. But it's not quite five, 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 but like <laughs> it's close. <laughs> Slash disposal. Three, one, four, five, 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 one, zero, one, three, and A, B, C, media. I know I could just take a picture of this, but it's fine. Posters, etc. That is two, zero, six. Five, 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 eight, seven, two, six. Okay. Let's start making some phone calls. Uh, first call. Ned! Ned Lee, Nedifer. Hi, you've reached Ned at Omega Chi Epsilon. I'm not here to take your call right now, so please try again later. Boo, Ned, boo. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Nancy, it's about time. How's St. Louis? Something terrible has happened. Maya went to Brady's dressing room to interview him. I guess he wasn't there. She screamed, and now she's gone. I think she's been kidnapped. Oh my gosh. Why would anyone want to kidnap Maya? I received a threatening phone call. Somebody wants desperately to stop this demolition, and they're holding Maya as a bargaining tool. That's terrible. Have you called the police? Not yet. I guess I've been a little stunned. Well, snap out of it, Nancy. Calling the police is a no-brainer. I know, I know. Call the police, they say. Okay, well, St. Louis Police Department it is. Oh, God. Okay, I definitely... I missed a number here. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Why is there only... I missed the one for the St. Louis Police Department. Do I have to hit one first? Okay, so I, I guess I do have to hit one first because it's not. 
Okay, it's because I hit the one, so I don't need to use the area code then. St. Louis Police Department. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. Is the kidnapping in progress? No. Hold on, miss. I'll transfer you to the missing persons unit. Missing persons, Sergeant Mac Ramsey speaking. I'm calling to report a kidnapping. No longer in progress. And who am I speaking with, please? My name is Nancy Drew. Okay, Miss Drew. Now, did you witness this kidnapping? No, but I heard it. What exactly did you hear? My friend went into a dressing room. I was out in the hall. And I heard her scream, so I went in after her, but she was gone. When and where did this happen? Just now, at the Royal Palladium Theater. And what's your friend's name, Miss Drew? Maya Wynn. Can you spell that, please? M-A-Y-A, -A, last name N-G-U-Y-E-N. -E Age? 19. Physical description? She's Asian American, I guess about 5'5", five, five, long black hair. So you didn't actually witness anything, is that right? I heard her screaming, and I received a threatening phone call. That must count for something. A threat. Can you describe the voice? Was it a man? Or a woman. It was spooky. I think they were using some voice disguise device. Hmm, yes. That'll make it impossible to tell the gender of the caller. Did you notice anything suspicious looking in the vicinity? No. No suspects. Any visible signs of struggle in the dressing room? Did your friend leave anything behind? Her purse? Anything that might have fallen out of her pockets? No. No evidence? Does your friend work at the theater? No, she's a student at Washington University. Does your friend have any enemies? Maya? I highly doubt it. And what business did Maya have entering the theater dressing room? She's a reporter for the school paper. She was there to do an interview. What about Maya's parents? Have they been contacted? They're in Vietnam this time of year. I don't know how to contact them. Okay, miss. I'll file this report. After 24 hours, if she hasn't turned up, we consider her a missing person, then begin to investigate. How can she turn up? She's been kidnapped. Unlikely. With all the scuttlebutt around this demolition, this stinks of student prank. A prank? But this building is going to be demolished in 72 hours. How can we afford to take that chance? How do you mean? The kidnapper must be holding her in the building, don't you think? Unlikely. No competent kidnapper keeps her captive anywhere near the scene of the abduction. Is there anything else, Miss Drew? Sergeant, I really don't think we can afford to wait 24 hours. It's standard procedure, Miss Drew. Unless you can provide us with some evidence that your friend was taken by force, it's 24 hours. Thanks, Sergeant. I'll call you back when I have the evidence. You do that. Bye. Very helpful. Makes sense that like calling the Royal Pavilion causes it to ring. The phone ring. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Five one zero one three. Calling the city garbage pickup. a little like weird pickup and then not pickup I'm guessing calling them too early so henceforth no one will answer the phone all right I know it's all person over here so I'll talk to him in a second Brady Armstrong in vanishing destiny humans against the destruction of illustrious theaters had it 
it's, uh, it's an acronym. I want to say it's a good one. No teeny boppers till showtime. House rules. No teeny boppers. Oh my god. Have you seen my friend Maya? She's 19, 5'5", five five, black hair. She has on running shoes, jeans, and a black shirt with butterflies on it. And the crisis is... She went into Brady Armstrong's dressing room and disappeared. Good old Charmstrong. Why are women always losing themselves over him? Because he's so charming. This is serious. I think she's been kidnapped. Whew. Kidnapping? <laughs> That's a high-profile tactic. Somebody means business. So what's the demands? Suddenly, Maya's fate is tied to this theater. They said that if it gets demolished, she'll go with it. No kidding. <laughs> That'll blast those bureaucrats and corporate bigwigs out of their dream world. Applause for the cause. We need all the help we can get. Okay, bro. My friend has been kidnapped. Duh. No? You don't care? Just something. Something that. Excuse me? We're talking about a girl's life here. I'm sorry. I know you're upset, but they won't mess with your friend. They just took her for effect. It's called making a statement. Making a statement. A statement? They said they'll let Maya go down with the building if it gets demolished. I haven't asked her myself, but something tells me that's a statement she'd rather not make. She'll be okay. Trust me. Oh, trust you. Are you be saying this because you're the one who's doing it? Right. I need to start searching for evidence, but I'll be back with more questions for you, Nicholas. Fight the power. Fight the power! He's Mr. Fight the Power! Oh my god! Oh my god, I love this guy. Fight the power. I literally used to say that all the time as a kid. Oh my god, I didn't know it was this guy. Oh my god, I'm so happy all of a sudden. Also, um, just real quick, I have one more thing that might be causing the issue um, with the echo for me. I don't know if it's still echoing for you, but it's a little bit echoey for me. But I think I might know why it's echoing on my end, at least. So just give me one moment. I'm not even going to put you guys on the Be Right Back screen because I think it's going to take literally a microsecond. A microcosm of a second. We do that. Hopefully that will solve the problem. Nancy, what's the 411? It's still echoing. All right, whatever. The 411? Come on, Nancy. That's vintage slang. You know, the 411, the deal, the lowdown. <laughs> oh, the information. Exactly. Exactly. So, humans against the destruction of illustrious theaters. Tell me about it. This theater's a spotted owl. It's a humpback whale. It's endangered. Illustrious buildings testify to our finest human hours. They should be celebrated, not bulldozed to make way for cardboard megaplexes. Need I say more? No, you, you made a point. Do you know what they plan to build on this spot after the theater is gone? Oh, it's very hush-hush. The name of the building firm is Wave of the Future. And the owner is some B. Thompson, descendant of J.J. Thompson. But he's never available for comment. Fishy, right? Ten bucks says B stands for baloney. B stands for baloney. <laughs> Catch you later. Fight the power. Fight the power. Go talk to that guy every chance I get, because Mr. Fight the Power. Out of service. Okay. I don't know why I can look at this specific poster, but I can. Um, okay, hold on. So, Sonny, Sun, Sun, Sunna, ooh, and Smith, acrobatic hijinks, holiday special, one whole month, not to be missed. Juggy Smith and his ragtime band, a musical hodgepodge of laughter, special attraction, Zagad, the Magnificent. Also featuring Madame Le Cedrix, the Lady of the Night, making her first American debut in this spectacular fiction only in St. Louis. 
Well, ain't that cute? Ah, Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini. Born in 1874 in Budapest, Hungary, and under the name of Eric Weizen, uh, Houdini's family soon moved to Appleton, Wisconsin. From there, at the age of 12, Houdini ran away from home. By the age of 13, he had reunited with his family in New York City and began performing magic card tricks under the original stage name Eric the Great. In the course of his illustrious 33-year career, Houdini escaped from prison cells, handcuffs, leg irons, straitjackets, packing crates, milk cans, coffins, and St. Louis tycoon J.J. Thompson's infamous watery grave. In addition to the... In in addition to being the greatest escape artist of all time, Houdini was also a master of illusion. In 1918, at the Hippodrome in New York City, he made an elephant disappear on stage, and according to Houdini, the elephant Jenny weighed 10,000 pounds. His brilliant skill and ability to baffle and amaze in the audience remains unsurpassed to this day. King of Chains, Harry Houdini. The Royal Pedium, St. Louis, Missouri, Shelby and White, a cornucopia of humorous magical acts. Real live animals. One week only. The Houdini Transformation. This week at the Royal Pedium, uh, I can't, I'm guessing I'm pronouncing this wrong. The Royal Pedium, Paddy, talk to a strip. Witness an astonishing metamorphosis that dares to boggle the human mind, the goddess of mystery. The Society of American Magicians would like to thank Harry Houdini for his great generosity and tiresome devotion to prompting the craft of magic, promoting the craft of magic. As president of the Society for 10 years, Mr. Houdini brought a worldwide recognition to the art and helped to foster the careers of countless aspiring magis magicians. We honor, honor him to follow his first steps. We're honored to follow in his footsteps. Houdini cast spells on the Padim. Last night, the master of illusion and undisputed king of handcuffs, Harry Houdini, performed at the Royal Padim. If you didn't attend, you missed a crack crackerjack show. The standing room only performs. The standing room only performance began with the uproarious comic styling of comedian Slappy Henderson. While Slappy was taking jabs at the Coolidge administration, he was distracted by a portly theater patron who is late taking her seat in the front row. Sloppy was mercilessly in ridiculing the woman for her tiredness and took no time in commenting on her floral print dress and matching hat. I like your dress, lady, but isn't it a little early for Halloween? After Sloppy warmed the crowd, Harry Houdini took command of the stage, joined by his beautiful wife and assistant, Bess. The Houdini the Houdinis pulled out all the stops, astonishing the crowd with amazing feats and dare, of daring and miracle, including Mr. Houdini's death-defying escape from the watery grave, a custom-made aquatic tank built by J.J. Thompson, the owner of the Royal Museum. So confident was Mr. Thompson that Houdini could not best his contraption, Thompson staked $50,000 on the challenge. Yow. What a blow for to J.J.'s bullfold. Read our exclusive coverage of this story on page 5. Even with such spectacular, it was the last illusion of the evening and Houdini's transformation that simply brought the house down. The illusion began with two iron cages being lowered from the ceiling to the stage. Bess gracefully stepped into the first cage and got lifted three feet into the air. As stagehand covered her with a cage-length curtain, Harry Houdini stepped in front stepped into the adjacent iron cage. While he was lifted up, Houdini transfixed us with a penetrating stare and began to count down at three his cage came to a halt three feet above the stage at two a cage link curtain quickly enveloped the magician but it was not houdini's voice who shouted one in less than a heartbeat after it was dropped the curtain was instantly lifted revealing bess houdini houdini standing where her husband had been but a moment before here houdini had vanished amid the applause best suggestion to the still to the still cloaked cage suspended beside her a stagehand removed the curtain to reveal not harry houdini as we all expected was slappy henderson you thought you had gotten rid of me didn't you slappy yelled to the woman in the floral dress the poor woman lumbered up from her front row someone ought to teach you some manners she said wagging a pointed finger at him and then she turned to face the audience removing her hat and wig with a flourish and revealed her true identity harry houdini the royal padium exploded with applause as the houdinis took their bow and to a standing ovation never before has st louis been treated with such an unparalleled magical genius Ooh, that was quite the article, but also that sounds really cool. <laughs> Let's 
this is why I love these games, though, just like the history and like the, the lore that they add to the to the environments. No way he could escape from this watery grave. But he did. But he simply did. down here. Like, I feel like somebody puts the box down here and I have to escape from down here. Let's put it this way. I won't be surprised if that happens. Okay, so I have one and two and play. Look at me go. Ooh, this dear Mr. Houdini, congratulations on the latest unbelievable feat. Never have I seeing the crowd of the royal the theater <laughs> so enthralled by a performer stupendous honestly I was assumed, I was assured that the watery grave was inescapable even for a master such as yourself really if offered really if I had any notice of risking my money notion of risking my money I might have <laughs> offered so graciously a, a grandiose of a reward after all what a man is made of what man is made of money? Isn't that right, Mr. Dini? My point is, well, I must admit that I my cash flow is a little tight at the moment. More specifically, I do not have 50000 available to give you at this time. The theater is young, but bound for glory. I'm sure you'll, you'll agree. My bank account is still recovering from the building expense. I'm sure you understand, sir. Woo, so you didn't have the money. However, this letter is an announcement of the golden opportunity, Mr. Hiding, not only for of the gloomy regret in lieu of cash and in accordance with my lawyer's counsel, I am prepared to offer you a reward far more valuable than cash. I would like to make you my business partner by transferring 50% ownership of the royal the theater into your name. Just think of it. Together we can make the royal the theater the foremost venue in world of magic stupendous. Certainly a man as brilliant as you and worldly as yourself will recognize this as an ir irresistible offer and realize that there is no need to squabble over the petty details of your reward or invent the press invite the press to make a mountain out of a molehill in this affair. I love the music in this one. <laughs> Please sign below and return this document to me if you agree to proceed with the transfer of 50% ownership of the theater into your name. In doing so, you will also be agreeing not to sue me or publicly defame my name. A detailed contract will follow. Stupendous. He signed it. 
I'm looking forward to mutually rewarding relationship with you, Mr. Houdini. Huh. So Houdini also owned the theater? That's gotta mean something. It's gotta have a little bit more of an impact on it getting demolished, I would say. Also, I have a key. The only lock I have um, seen that could possibly go with this key is in the men's dressing room. You're not gonna mind. I mean, this is in your dressing room. It is, but it is not. It's locked. Okay, so it's locked. Dang. All right. Well, let's try talking to you, sir. I'm sure. Any news? Don't you want to know what Maya's article was about? Well, uh, I thought you said it was about me. <laughs> Well, Brady, you are the center of the universe, but actually, her article was about the theater. Then what did she want to talk to me for? I'm an actor, not a politician. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I take a look around in here? Be my guest. Talk to you later, Brady. Bye. Bye-bye. Um, well, I'm gonna save, because saving's important. Um... God, what should my save file be for this one? Something fishy is a foot, but literally a foot. No, is a, is a, is a, is f something fishy? Something fishy is the name of the save. Also, I'm going to. Dear Bess, remember Maya Wynn from high school? I'm visiting her in St. Louis. We have tickets to tonight's. Right, and we are back. Okay. Be my guest. Well, I will. I will look around all of your things. All of the things. Okay. So let me see if I can. Talk to his agent again. Also, I know there's the uh, guy on the phone that we talked to, the um, like the caretaker, or whatever. And we talked to him, but I don't know where he is. This calls priority. Try me later. <laughs> my name is Miss. I'm annoying. <laughs> I feel like I'm definitely might be missing something down here. No. So literally just a shortcut between the two rooms. What's up? Can't talk long. Gotta check on my people. What's your attachment to saving this theater? You seem so personally invested. Politics is personal, but with this place, it's ultra personal. My grandma, Louisa Falcone, designed the molds for all the insane plaster work that you see in this lobby and in the auditorium. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Wow. I can see why you would hate to let it be destroyed. After all, this artwork is her legacy. True, true. But there's more. I guess the architect owner guy, J.J. Thompson, ran out of cash before the building was done. 
He never paid my grandma dime one, and then he denied that she had ever done the work in the first place. Oh, wow, that's really shitty. Why didn't he give her the credit? Yeah, she was the artist type, not a deal maker. I guess she'd never signed any contractual stuff with JJ, and she didn't have the resources to sue him or any of that, so I guess she just had to let it go. I wonder why Thompson would cheat her like that. Here's the kicker. After JJ sharked her on this two-year project, she was broke. And then the Great Depression hit. She could never afford to work as an artist again. Aww, that's really sad. What did she do instead? Louisa, Mother Serenity Falcone? Ah, she just kept on trucking in true Falcone style. Died at 97 without a bitter bone in her body. I think she had a happy life, but this theater holds the last artwork she ever did. Don't you see, Nancy? Saving this place is not just for history. It's for justice. Aww. I'm on this guy's side. I mean, I hate destroying of buildings. I mean, obviously, it needs to be refurbished a little bit, Jesus Christ. But, like, don't kidnap somebody to save the theater, maybe? She should at least get credit for her work. My family has been trying for years, but there doesn't seem to be anything on record that links her to this place. Nancy, could you do me a favor? Can I do you a favor? Absolutely, Mr. Fright the Power. Maybe there's something buried in the theater. While you're searching, could you just keep your eye out? If I run across the name Louisa Falcone or anything else that might help, You'll be the first to know. You're cooler than I thought, Nancy. I try to play it down. <sighs> okay, so... So, so, so... So... Duh. Aha, hadn't been here. Ooh, a quarter. Why do I need a quarter? I don't know, but I have one. And we like having quarters. Cool. I knew I hadn't been here yet. Okay, so... I still haven't met a whole person yet. I know there's another old man in this game. I just don't know where he is or... Where I could locate him, because he's hiding my friend right now. Obviously. Obviously, obviously. Um... Because I think the bad guy in this game is the old man. I mean, I could be wrong. But I'm fairly certain. Also, how do you get up there? Uh -huh. I literally feel like I'm missing a whole part of this either. been on the stage yet. That's that's something I haven't been. Hello from the top of the stage. Definitely missing a place, I think. Because I know... Unless I just don't know how to get there yet. Hold up. Yeah, the projector room right above the auditorium. I know! I don't know how to get there, though. <laughs> I know that's where I need to go. Because I know that I can fuck with the audio and shit up there. But, like, I don't remember how to get there. And also, nice mean girls reference. Nice mean girls reference. Um... Okay, so I've checked everything out down here, at least so that I can immediately see. Um, I mean, I could have make I could make more phone calls. I could like I could call Bess and George back, but I don't want to do that yet. I feel like I'm missing something very obvious. 
Like, I can't go through these doors. It won't let me. I tried. Unless I, like, literally, like... Elite enter. And then... No. Okay. I think it's, like, an exit door. That's why. So it's, like, it doesn't let me... Okay. So how do I get to... The up. <laughs> the up part. The part that is up. Let's go back in here. Of course. Of course. Watch out there, Nancy. That projector's crumbling like a prehistoric cookie. How do you know I'm Nancy? A. You must be Nancy. The worry's written all over your face. Well, I'm Joe. I started to look for you, but then I figured better to park myself and let you find me. Any trace of your friend? Alrighty, folks, give me one sec. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm in this conversation, so I can't leave it. I guess the it. kidnapper must have escaped so, through that moment. passageway, but all it led me to is a cranky Hollywood agent. Uh, Simone Mueller. I should have warned you. What about calling the police? There's an outside line in the ticket booth. Thanks, but I already tried that. Standard procedure says I'm on my own for the next 24 hours. Standard procedure? I mean, I understand the police can't go chasing after every kid who gets lost at the mall, but this is different. But this theater's gonna be torn down in three days. Did you tell them that? They say it's unlikely that the kidnapper would keep her in the building. Well, I checked all the outside doors and, and they're locked up tight. Only folks who've been in the theater all day are Brady and Simone, you and Maya, Nicholas Falcone, and myself. You're suggesting it must be one of these people? Well, I've only got this one pair of eyes, so I can't say 100%. Did you notice anything suspicious? I was up here in the projector room, sound testing for the premiere. But I'd be disappointed in your detective work if you didn't put me through the ringer like a regular suspect. How did you know I was a detective? And Maya's a reporter, right? Well, you yelled it in my ear when I called down to the dressing room earlier. Remember? <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Joseph. I thought you were the kidnapper calling back. Don't mention it, dear. Now, what's your plan of attack? He's too nice. He's definitely the bad guy. Time to start searching. Can you give me a map or some blueprints of this place? Try calling county administration. The records division keeps that type of stuff. I bet a blueprint would show secret passages that even I've never found. Ask for the original plans, not the ones from the 56 remodel. When was the theater built? Completed in 1925. The vision of one J.J. Thompson. Anyway, I spent the last 40-something years finding my way around this place, so let me know if I can help. Thanks, Joseph. Don't let the turkeys get you down. Oh, the turkeys have definitely got me down. All right, I'm going to take a quick break. I will return momentarily. Just let me go ahead and save again before something funky can happen. So let me go ahead and put you all on hold, but I'll be right back.
Now I can't hear the game. Oh, fuck. Where's the where's the audio? Like so I could just reset the headphones. I hear I love technical difficulties. They make me so happy. I'm just trying to get rid of the echo. My tech wizard's trying to figure it out. Sorry about the um, interruptions, but uh, we should be fine. Um, so, so yeah, so yeah. Um, let's do it. Let's. I, I didn't explore this room fully. Don't know how much exploring you do with him in here. Let's go out to the lobby. Let's all go out to the lobby. Once the film is properly loaded, see page, page 77 for the full instructions. Adjust the focus knob to clear, clear, clarify the picture. Different film will come into focus at different points. While films are running, stay behind the projector and continue to monitor the following. The loops are correct, all the rolls are rotating properly, the surface of the film is not being scratched or obstructed, the sprocket holes are not being strained or torn, the projector is not making any odd noises, the film is winding safely and smoothly on the take-up reel. If the image on the screen begins to flicker or the sound becomes warped or any of the above processes begin to fail, switch off the projector immediately. Never leave the projector running unattended. Cleaning and maintenance. Regular cleaning of the projector while keeping it running will well and prevent buildup of dirt from scratching in film. Use a toothbrush to remove built up dirt and paintbrush to remove dust from the film pathway. Apply methylated spirits of to a soft cloth to use this wipe with wipe the film path. During screening is dust the film pathway with a clean paintbrush after each reel of film. There was a key here. There was a key here. I there was a key, key here. There was a key here. Not there was key. a key here. There was. Now there is not. Unfortunately. Alrighty. Projector reels. Don't know what that is, but I'll take it. It's like a light bulb, maybe? Projector light? Another sink I could look at. Any signs of Maya? Oh, well, we could talk again. So, where will you go after the demolition? Are you planning to retire? Greasewood, Arizona. My brother Jake is there. It's a tiny town with no movie theater, so we're gonna put one on the map. I got some money saved. Oh, that's cool. Tell me about that old key making machine in the lobby. Has it been out of order long? It's been broken for a spell. The kids lost interest in it when video games came along. But I bet it wouldn't be hard to fix. I'd love for you to see how it works. And then you can make yourself a little souvenir from the Royal Palladium. Or send a key to your sweetheart. Aww. Who is this J.J. Thompson character anyway? Old J.J. Owner, visionary, wheeler-dealer. 
J.J. loved a magic show. He had this place built with those kind of big spectacle shows in mind. J.J. also happened to love the sight of his own mug in the mirror. You can tell by the way he uh, ornamented the auditorium with his own head. <laughs> the history of this theater is so rich. I'm surprised the city of St. Louis isn't more interested in preserving it. Well, they are interested. The Historical Society has been working like the Dickens to get this place declared a landmark. But someone downtown has been stalling. They're awfully close. Well, dang. Gotta go now. Bye. Yeah, those damn kids and their damn video games. Little does he know, he is a video game character. Whoa, Inception. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So I think that's all the the suspects, all the usual suspects. God, that just looks like a vagina to me. Like with the womb and like the uterus. I mean, is it just me? I mean, come on, I can't be the only one who's thinking that, right? Like, it definitely looks like... Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All I'm saying. I'm not trying to have a dirty mind or anything, but... Look at it. How goes the search? I found some of JJ's personal documents inside a secret panel in the basement. Well, don't just stand there. Start breaking it down. Did you ever hear about a challenge that J.J. Thompson issued to Harry Houdini back in 1925? Yeah, and? J.J. put up a big reward for this Houdini challenge. He must have thought the escape was impossible. But Houdini did it! And J.J. didn't have the reward money. What does this have to do with the ownership of the theater? From what I can tell, J.J. had to give Harry Houdini 50% of the theater as the reward. Ha! Serves that swindler J.J. right. Nancy, do you realize what this means? Enlighten me. If Thompson didn't own the whole place, then whoever inherited it from Thompson doesn't legally own the whole place either. Which means they don't have the authority to knock this building down. We've got to find out what happened to his half of the ownership. You keep looking for Maya. I've got a laptop out in my van. I'll get online and do some research. Check back soon. Catch you later. Fight the power. Fight the power. Okay. Nancy, it's Joseph. Wait till you see this. Come to the projection room. Oh, oh okay. I will, but let me look at this shit first. Had it. Humans against the destruction of illustrious theaters. Uh, if you'd like to find out... Oh, there's a phone number. Hold up. Ah! My notebook! Don't mind me. <laughs> okay. Another phone number for me to call. Um, three, one, four, five, 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 four, six, seven, one. If you'd like to find out more about Had It, please become a, become a member or make a donation to the cause. Please contact our officers. Offices. Thank you for your interest. Sincerely, Nick Falcone. Nicholas, fight the power, Falcone. Founder <laughs> and president. Alright, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Fight the power. Nancy, take a look at this. Where did you find it? Brady found it. This should be enough evidence to get the police over here, don't you think? I should think so. Give the police a call. And then you better go back to your hotel and get some rest. Just when I have a lead? No way! I've got to keep searching. You won't be any help to Maya if you get too tired to think. Well, I guess you have a point there. Go ahead and use the phone in the ticket booth. I'll be down in a minute. But, 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 fight the power. Um, he said Brady found it. I want to see if Brady recalls finding it himself. Brady, Mr. Armstrong. Are your arms super strong? <laughs> Brady, you gone? Brady, no! I can't find Brady. Brady. Mm. 
Where's she gone to then? Nope. Nancy Drew, Simone Mueller. Don't worry, Vanishing Destiny is off. We've got bigger fish to fry. The premiere has been canceled? Of course. I mean, a kidnapping right out of my small potatoes. It's worth more to us canceled or at least postponed. When the news gets out, the whole nation will be watching. I don't think we should get the press into this before the police have had a chance to investigate. <laughs> Where are you from? River Heights. Why? Yes, precisely. <laughs> River Heights. Listen, doll, I'm from L.A. This ain't my first time at the rodeo. We'll find your friend, or Brady Armstrong will, and when he does, every girl in America will wish she'd been kidnapped instead of Maya What's-Her-Name. This theater is going to be demolished. You can help search if he wants, but I'm not going to sit back and wait for him to save the day. Honey, you've got spunk. Ever consider acting? This girl power thing is red hot right now. Of course, we'd have to think of a stage name. Nancy Drew is so utterly forgettable. That's where you're wrong, my dear. How long have you been Brady's agent? Uh, I discovered him on an electric spring morning six years ago. He was working the original Coney Dog stand on Sunset Boulevard. It was pure luck. I was craving an all-beef frank at 7 a.m. He's been the jewel in my crown ever since. Joseph says the building was probably locked when the kidnapping happened, and that the kidnapper had to be someone who was inside the theater. Care to comment? Why don't you tell that little gray troll that I think he did it, just to keep himself from dying of boredom in this old dump. That's my comment. I'm asking everyone, where were you when the kidnapping happened? Oh, please, Nancy. I was on the phone, doing business. But if I'm ever hard-pressed for entertainment, I'm sure kidnapping would be a real hoot. I think your phone's about to ring. Ciao. I know. I'm from Los Angeles. Go fuck yourself. I mean, like, I'm an hour away from Los Angeles and all people from Los Angeles, like, <laughs> You got a point there. You got a point. Oh gosh, she's so irritating. Like, I wish she was the bad guy, but she's not. She's just, she's just a bitch. <laughs> In which, I mean, honestly, more power to her. Okay. Ah. Uh... Go to the phone and make some phone calls versus call Ned. Did I? Did I? I missed dial probably. I missed the five five five. In St. Louis, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, like St. Louis is. I mean, I've never been. God, it's just like, it's so cliche of somebody from Los Angeles right to say, I'm Please from Los later. Angeles. Just as gross. Okay. I'm just gonna call all the people. Calling everybody. Hello? Bess? What did the police say? According to standard procedure, they can't get involved. For hours. What could possibly be standard about a girl getting kidnapped? They're not convinced it's a kidnapping. Well, how did she disappear then? Poof? Alakazam? Sergeant Ramsey says it could be a prank, or Maya might have just taken off or something. Sergeant Ramsey obviously doesn't know Wash U's most dedicated reporter. It's true. The only way she would have abandoned this story is if someone dragged her away from it. Do Maya's parents know? They always travel this time of year, remember? And besides, I've got to find Maya before this demolition. I doubt her parents could get back from the other side of the world before then anyway. What a mess. Yeah, it's been a while since I've... Call me back when you know more. 
I'll get a hold of George and Ned and let them know what's going on. Poor Maya. I guess the only consolation is that she's got you on the rescue mission. Okay, so I need to call... Colin had it. I've had it with these siege getting knocked down. I've had it! We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed. Please check the number and dial... Okay, I definitely... Three, one, four, five, 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 four, six, seven, one. I need to one seven. We're sorry. Ugh. Your call. Boo. That's all I'm gonna say about that is boo. Missing persons unit, please. Please hold missing persons. This is Ramsey. Hi, Sergeant Ramsey. This is Nancy Drew. I spoke to you earlier today about the disappearance of my friend, Maya Wen. Hello, Miss Drew. You're calling to tell me that you found your friend, I hope. I wish that were true, sir. No, she's still missing. I'm calling to report that I have the evidence you asked for. What did you find? Someone else here at the theater found Maya's press pass. It was clipped to her shirt when she went into the dressing room. It must have been torn off when she was kidnapped. Or it fell off. Or she just tossed it. Maya is very serious about her work, Sergeant Ramsey. She never goes anywhere without that pass. And she would not willingly leave it behind. Is the pass damaged in any way? No. Was anything disturbed in the area where it was found? I don't know. I'm not the one who found it. Okay, well, thanks for checking in, Miss Drew. If Maya hasn't turned up by tomorrow, we'll definitely be out to investigate. Someone will take a look at the press pass then. But you said that if I found evidence, you'd investigate the theater today. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but we can't go chasing after every kid who decides to take a leave of absence. The vast majority of missing juveniles disappear of their own accord, and they reappear when they're good and ready. You have to believe me. Maya would never play this kind of game. Nicholas Falcone said he thinks somebody is using her to make a statement. Nicholas Falcone? Is he involved in this? Are you involved with him? Haddad is demonstrating against the demolition in front of the theater. Nicholas has set up shop in the lobby. I've spoken to him. I'm not involved with him. Are you aware of the allegations against Mr. Falcone's character, Miss Drew? Allegations? Nick Falcone operates according to his own rules. He'll do just about anything to save a theater, and he's not afraid to use extreme tactics. What kind of extreme tactics? You name it. Vandalism, sabotage, chaining himself to demolition machinery. Is that right? And last year there was a situation over in Nashville. Just when the oldest theater in the city is about to be torn down, and mind you, had it is there in full force. A girl goes missing. So happens she's the daughter of the demolition boss. They go crazy looking for her. There's a call, just like the one you described. Anyway, to make a long story short, the demolition is called off. And three weeks later, the girl is seen snuggling up to Falcone in a Memphis coffee shop. Are you suggesting Nicholas is staging this thing? I'm just saying that there's more to situations like these than meets the eye. Nick Falcone is a real operator and he likes to humiliate the police. I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon here with this whole royal palladium thing and let him make my unit look like a bunch of chumps. I see. So you aren't going to have any credit with us if you join ranks with him. Does he have a criminal record? Oh, minor stuff. Disorderly conduct, trespassing, yada yada yada. But Nick Falcone can slime his way out of a sticky situation like no one I've ever seen. Unfortunately, there's no jail sentence for being a royal pain in the neck. There are no good citizenship awards for it either. Look, I know you're worried, but for now, there's nothing we can do. And there's nothing you can do either. Why don't you go home and get some rest? I'm sure you've had a long day. Well, this has been very informative, Sergeant Ramsey. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, Miss Drew. I heard the whole thing, Nancy. 
Go get some sleep. I'll keep an eye on things till morning. Planning a funeral is such a dreadful pain, woman. Wouldn't it? You'd rather just step, stop the demolition. Jesus Christ. That's a bit much. Um, alright. So it's day two, and with my technical difficulties and stuff, I feel like just cutting it a little shorter today. Um, but I mean, I made a pretty good progress, and I, I think I flew through day two pretty fast. So, I'm gonna cut it here, um, but I will be back, um, soon to keep working on this, hopefully with less, um, echo issues. So, in that case, I'll save the game, but, um, thank you all for coming by, and, um, yeah, something fishy is afoot, so, um, we'll see what happens later, but, um, until then, uh, put on sunscreen, for the love of God, wear sunscreen, and, um, have a great rest of your day. Bye! Have a great-